I first started playing bass when I was seven, and it was because my older brother was playing drums at the time, and I was like, yeah, I want to play an instrument too. I see so many like girls singing and playing guitar, and I kind of just wanted to be different, and I saw the bass, and I was like, this looks cool. The amp like rumbling under, and you kind of like feel it in your chest. I think that like really stuck with me. I've been a Fender fan for a long time, and the fact that I'm here kind of like demoing this bass in the first person to play this one is really special. The first song we're gonna play is called Toast with the Butter, and it was written in peak pandemic days. It was really, really fun to write. It's kind of about just that like desire and urge to be with someone when you know you haven't seen people for a while. I got really into DJing when I was 17. I learned a lot about music through doing that. I would like bring my bass to my DJ sets and I would like shred. I shred over like disco records. When I was doing disco nights, I would shred over top 40 records and it became like my thing for years. And I would DJ like four nights a week. 
just getting that skill down of, of DJing and having that vast knowledge of music. Like as a DJ, you really need to know know what like makes people move and what makes people dance. Super independent at a really young age, just from you know being in New York. That's also the time I started getting into music, and I remember like leaving sleepovers in middle school to go practice. I didn't even think twice about it. I was like, this is what I'm going to do for my life. For this performance, we again kind of switched up the arrangement a little bit to showcase more of the pretty elements. So much more to the fame And I'm never changing, nah It's getting too loud, we'll figure it out You're losing your own game While well, I'm switching lanes, the technical way I started my day, yeah. I can't really wait up Figure it out, just figure it out love the active pickup. It has so much more punch, but it still has that, that classic precision sound that you really can't get anywhere else. So when I'm playing live and I'm, you know, playing a melodic part, or the bass line is kind of the main, you know, part of the song. It's really important that that kind of cuts through to the audience. And, but it's also nice to just have that classic tone when I want it. If I'm recording at home, I can just flip it off and really just play. 
When I first started posting on social media, I didn't even think too much about it. This is something I love to do, which is playing music, and I'm just gonna put a video of myself playing bass on the internet and see what happens. People actually like this, I'm just gonna keep doing it, and it seems like it's inspiring other people to play bass. This one's really, really fun to play. We definitely rockified it a little bit for this version. We're shredding in this one. So ironic, it's iconic, I get off of it. 